What's going on guys? I know it's been a little while, but I wanted to get on here because I had a few questions about what to do with whiskers um, if, say, they're not on a black sourced background. So I chose this picture here because Silly has some whiskers uh, down here that are in the dark. And she has some that are in this white square. That's a window from a door back there. But this was shot um, in the indoor arena in the door. So like the opening. That's why she's well lit. But anyways, so I already kind of masked her in. I'm not going to remove the halter because I already have a video about how to remove the halter and I'm just using this picture for practice so ignore this kind of messy mask uh, that I have going on but I have another video about how to do black backgrounds as well so if you want to learn how to do this uh, feel free to check out my video I can post a link at the top and let's get started so what you're gonna wanna do first is grab the lasso tool. And so I know it's kind of janky because I didn't, I was really lazy and didn't remove the um, rope halter, but you'll still get a really good idea of what to do regardless. And so you'll select the whiskers and this only works for the black. Keep that in mind right now because we'll touch base on the white side in a little bit that's why i already have it masked you can't see the whiskers but i'll remove it in a little bit when we get to that part so what you want to do is once you have the whiskers selected you're going to want to make a new layer so you're going to want to copy the whiskers control c and make a new down here make a new uh, layer Paste the whiskers in the layer as you see here. And we'll name this whiskers one because we'll have two parts. This part here in the black and then this part that was over here in the white. And once you have that layer selected, make sure you go to image adjustments and you're gonna wanna go to hue and saturation. You have this eyedropper tool and I want you to select the part that sticks out, that isn't quite black. And we're gonna remove all the color from that. So we're gonna lower our saturation. And that way, when we go to image, adjustments, and levels, if we drag the dark side over, you can see it pretty much just disappeared because we had changed the color to black and we're moving the black over. Now, if you want the whiskers to pop a little more, you can bring the whites back. As you can see, our, our um, mask is a little messy, but this is very easy to fix. We're just working on the whiskers right now. And you can drag the mid-tones if you want. It depends on how white you want the whiskers, but yeah, I I want them to look kind of natural. I don't want them to look like super bright. And so if you zoom in to 100%, you can see that they blend pretty flawlessly into the background. If you want to clean this mask up, make sure you so we're gonna go for her lip. Do something like that. That way it looks a little better. This is where the rope was, so ignore that. That obviously wouldn't be there, that blob. But as you can see, that pretty much made the whiskers look very natural. We didn't have to, oops, we didn't have to add any in. We didn't have to do anything super crazy, really simple. What I would do after 
is really make sure this mask is like super touched up and looks nice and maybe some of the whiskers that have faded I would go back and draw those in with my tablet which I could do right now just to show you real quick now let me take it back out what's nice about the tablet is you can have pen pressure so it looks a lot more natural when you like raise I don't know what I'm trying to do here um might help if I had the right color I'll probably try and sample something actually I'm a little more natural but you can have it on pressure which is nice and you can even have it on something like this and you can make your brush bigger if it looks like those are so if I think that's a little too harsh or dark I'm not getting it oh I know why Make sure your whiskers, your drawn whiskers, are above the mask. <laughs> but you can even make it more. Or up the, or lower the opacity, I should say. Even more. Even with a tablet pen, sometimes it's a, it's a little bit of a pain. But so you get the idea. I don't want to draw too many in or like right here because that's going to lead to our next example. Moving on to the white section. We're going to have to either draw these in or copy them from the other side. So what I would probably do here is make sure you're on the first whisker with the color change so that it's black and white and I would select these I'll copy them with control C I'm gonna drag them above the mask oops not those ones the new layer and I'll hit control T so as you can see, we copied them. I say as you can see a lot, and it's really actually annoying me. Mm, about there. We'll mask them so they'll blend in a little better, but you get the gist of it. So they look a little more natural. And you can always change the shape by hitting control. So if you wanna like make these look a little further away. Add a mask. Put the right color. I don't know why I always switch back to my mouse. <laughs> I really only use my tablet to draw like hair or dodge and burn, anything that requires like pressure. But so, kind of want them really to blend in. I just want to move these over. Blend them in. But they look a little bit brighter, so I'll probably tone down the opacity just a little. So they blend in more. And I probably would fill in the gap right here where there seem to be missing some. So you can do that one of two ways. I didn't do the best job. You can still, I'm gonna fix it, hang on. Why am I using my mouse? <laughs> and I'm not even on the... I 
Okay, so that's a little bit better, but okay, so I would try to clone stamp some of them if possible. It can be a little hard because of the angles, so um, and you can also see some of the I got distracted by those whiskers that are pointing down. They're right here. So we need something that's kind of going out this way, which right here has that. But it kind of looks the same, looks similar. If it looks to see how it's very repeated, I would then give up on that and I would make a new layer. Drawn whiskers. We'll call it and we will go to our pen. I think we're gonna want something with like a hardness of 57, 50, anywhere between 50, 57. I usually go pretty low on opacity and I don't use flow. It might help to like angle your canvas a little more if you if you need to, but I usually stay between a 1 and a 4. And what I'll do is test it a couple times, see if it's similar, tweak if I need to, but then just draw some in and they don't have to be perfect uh, kind of the same way you drew or filled the other whiskers in so this is really bugging me it's a repeated pattern you can see it ooh, right here but it doesn't transfer over well right here it just looks really weird um, so what I'm gonna do is make a bigger brush. I'm gonna try and like erase it, go into the whiskers a bit. And you can do that if you're still seeing some of the background peek through like here. And what I suggest if you don't have a tablet to do the whiskers is to kind of erase the ends a little bit and I only have it at 45% opacity but that way it's not too bright and it kind of has that point that the whiskers usually have but don't be afraid to like really erase either because you can always draw it back with your pen. So like, I just kind of colored black on that instead of making a layer. Oh, whatever, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna want that white color again. A way smaller brush size. Whoa, not a five. Let's do a two. And what's great is you could always turn down the opacity of the layer if the whiskers are too bright. So when you're taking pictures, I would definitely, whoop, I would definitely try to be aware of what background 
the horse's head is. I have a video about how to take better black background pictures so they're easier to edit because normally I wouldn't want to use this photo just because of the whiskers. Let's see if you change the opacity, it looks a little better. They don't have to be as bright. But yeah, that's the video. I know it looks a little messed up because I was too lazy to remove the halter. I just really wanted to get this video out here quick for you guys since it's been a while. Um, yeah, so be aware of, let me take all these layers off so you could see the original again. Just be aware of where your horse's head is. That's the biggest tip. You won't have to worry about anything else, like having to do the whiskers. If, you know, they're kinda in a brighter area, I guess you'd say. If you just, yeah, make sure it's in the dark. But if you do, I think the first method is super helpful. Otherwise, just draw them in. It'll take a little bit of practice, but I mean, I think it looks all right in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, so thanks for hanging out, taking time to watch this. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know what you want to learn. Let me know if you have any questions or need me to elaborate on anything. Uh, yeah, I'm here to help you guys, so take care and have a great week.